Hello, Captains. This is Kent again, and welcome to the Flight Show. So today, I'm not here to fly anything or do a flight video. It's to have a small little discussion about something that I think, as quiet as it's kept, may be a game changer to your flight simming experience. And I've been putting a lot of thought into this, so I thought I'd just share <coughs> my views. For years, we've had kind of a limited amount of controllers for an immersive experience in flight simulating. I mean, who are the, who do we have? We have the Satec Flight Yoke, we have um, CH products, and then you have, which I'll call the uh, affordable sort of controllers, or flight sticks that if, um, joysticks and flight sticks if you just have a, you know, flight stick uh, to fly aircraft. Then you have some mid-range things that are in like, the $600 range, and then you have the high-end stuff that's like a thousand, near a thousand or greater. And it dawned on me that there have not been a whole lot of affordable or uh, affordable end flight yokes in what, 10 years? I mean, let's take a quick look at this. Here's what, when I look at flight videos, um, when I look at flight videos, on YouTube, the vast majority of controllers that I see is this. The uh, Satec Pro Flight Yoke for the PC or the Mac. And I personally have this as well. I have the flight, I have the yoke, I have the throttle quadrant, and I have an extra throttle quadrant so that I can have a run of throttles and um, air, the air brake and the, uh, well, spoilers, if you will, and the uh, um, flap control. In fact, I went out and bought these external um, fittings that would make this look like a 737 controller. And then their competitor, um, I'll get to that in a minute, is CH Products. And their controller, see, like here on Amazon, you can get it for 125 uh, this is relatively in the same price range on Amazon. I think when I bought it, it was uh, 150, 160 for the you know the yoke and the throttle quadrant, and it's been dedicated and long serving for over 10 years. But there hasn't been anything new until Honeycomb is coming out, and I think it's going to be released in July, of their controller and throttle quadrant. Now before I get into that, as I mentioned before, here's a mid-range sort of controller that I think this is, what is this controller, about $459 for this particular model, and I think this is a, a VR Insight. And when you look at its you know, fe features, I mean, that's pretty cool, you know. You have all the controllers of what you might have in a Cessna-like aircraft, the lights, the layout, the master, uh, the starting switch, which isn't bad. But that's still 390 euros. Still, it's up there. But cheaper than I kind of would have expected. But it's also very reminiscent of general aviation. And as you know, there are a great number of people that like flying commercial. Um, so then you get into the the standard for high end sticks, Yoko the yoke, and it's now dropped down to like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, depending on where you find it. But that's because they came out with a Yoko the yoke two. Where is where is it? Here we go. So this is Yoko the Yoke. So yeah, it's a Yoko the Yoke Plus. So here they are going, you know, retailing at 995 euro from Virtual Fly directly. Now, I think there are only a handful of people that are going to be able to afford this yoke. I think that's fair to say. And then you think 600 euro for a throttle quadrant, 872 dollars for rudder pedals. But here comes at least you know, Yoko the Yoke, with seemingly going to be a really substantial flight yoke uh, that is affordable. Let's take a look at their prices. Their MSRP is 219 
and for the final quadrant, $200. Which is probably the least expensive final quadrant that I've seen that really um, has a lot of features to go with it. And so I'm really thinking that this might be a game changer as it comes to flight uh, yokes because this is the much more affordable option that gives you more features than your um, Satec or your CH Pro. It's a little bit more expensive, but for 50 to $60 more, look at all that they're offering. You know, when I saw the throttle quadrant and I saw, okay, this is kind of reminiscent of what I get on a, a Boeing 737 or an Airbus, and then all of these different controls that I could be using for throttle, speed, brake, but let's take it a step further. If you go into their product features, they're offering, you know, I, I'm more than likely this is going to be accessories that you can buy beyond that, but you could go up to a 747 with reversers. I mean, come on. I don't know if these reversers are, are going to work, but if these reversers actually work, hands down, done. I'm, if I'm, you know, I have some research to do to find out about this, but I'm telling you, I'm really thinking about pre-buying, uh, you know, uh, pre-ordering this. And gear, spoilers, trim, and autopilot features all of this in one thing for you know two hundred dollars and then for the flight yoke if I could go back very quickly you know uh, a hat for choosing direction you can see it a little bit right there do they have another shot of it no I guess not but then you have direction change I mean I don't, these are programmable, I'm assuming, so you could do, put these on trim, you know, you see right here they have the hat for controlling your views, so we have possible trim views, trimming, and changing views from one to another, and a hat, plus a couple of other buttons, never mind the buttons right here that we have for light switches, and what have you, I mean, all of this for... $219. I mean, I am really curious of what this is going to be like when it's released, but we may be on the dawn of a game-changing flight yoke that offers more than what has been produced at the affordable end in the past 10, 15 years. And I'm really excited about it. Now, the proof is in the pudding. I don't have a demo of this. I'm not being paid to you know, be a sponsor of this object. I would love for them to look at my channel and say, hey, why don't you demo it? I'd be happy with that. They'll probably go with some more uh, popular uh, YouTubers that do flight simming. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm excited about this stick, this flight yoke, and I'm hoping it's going to live up to the billing because it looks like a really dynamic system for the affordable end if you can't buy a yoke of the yoke. And I'm not knocking it. I've never had a chance to use it, but from all the reviews that I've heard, it's an excellent flight stick, uh, a flight yoke. And if you've got near $1,000 to spend, and I say get that. But if you're someone who's more on the uh, economic side, I mean, it's already bad enough of how expensive you need to put into a, the expense you have to put into a computer to run prepared 3D or x-plane 11 at its fullest potential that we have to skimp possibly on a flight controller because we put so much into our computers I mean you know I'm running here with three one two three four five monitors um, it's just insane what I've invested in this but you know labor of love but hey I'm a single guy I don't have a wife and kids you know or putting someone through college so it's my guilty pleasure for the situation of my life but for those out there that have a job, a family, but they love flight simming, I, who's to say? But I doubt a lot of people can afford necessarily Yoko the Yoke. Or they save up for it. Who knows? But I think that for the affordable in-flight controls, if this product lives up to its potential, it's really going to be a game changer for the flight yoke uh, sales 
or what's offered for flight yolks to the general simmer. I'm really hoping, I mean it's hard to wait till July, what choice do I have? I, I really wish I could demo this, but I tell you what, um, it's been on my mind and I thought I'd just do a quick video about it. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it. Just think about it. What are the controllers that you've had at your disposal to fly your flight simulator? Anything new on the affordable end, if that's what you, you know, fly with any time in the past 10 years, 15 years? Maybe I'm overlooking something, but I don't think so. So again, I'm really thinking that this could be the new hotness. Now, who knows when, now that the word's on the street that this is coming out, not to be outdone, who knows, Thrustmaster might have something in the works. I have no idea, but I'm simply saying, I personally am really looking forward to that. I was really going to break down and try to get a yoke of the yoke somewhere, but when I heard about this, I am perfectly willing to wait and invest, you know, what are we talking about here, a little over $400 in this system and give it a go, which I think at the very least is going to be as enjoyable as my uh, SATEC has been over the years. But I have to tell you, until I, when I started doing flight videos, you, you hear that noise? That's my flight yoke. I did not realize how much how rickety this the the, the SATEC sounds because it was just the norm. I'm really wondering what this is going to turn into, but I promise you. The day I get this, I will be doing a review on it. And hopefully you'll look at it, and then you can make an informed decision as to what you want to invest your money in. Um, well, I think that's really all I had to say. I wanted to get that off my mind. Actually, I did take time to say, here's another yoke that I really would like. This is a force feedback yoke. But look at this price, folks. And even if we look at the America, $1,600. I would love force feedback. I don't want it that bad. I really don't. <laughs> so I guess that'll bring to close, captains out there, my little thought about the whole flight controller thing. Leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts on it. Are you looking forward to it? Had you even heard of it before of this? Or were you just like, skip that, I'm just going to save up for a flight yoke? Or is there a flight yoke that you really like that maybe I hadn't thought of or, you know, knew about? Well, I really hope that you like and subscribe, and I look forward to my next flight video that will be coming very soon. Luckily, I've just finished my semester, so I'm going to enjoy to have a little time to put up some stuff before I get into my summer gigs. Take care. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the virtual skies.